Hey first graders, so now I'm going to show you the next step in your process of making your Hunterfasser inspired home and your home that reflects who you are. Remember, it's gotta be a house that if someone was to walk by it, they would think, oh, the person who lives there, I know, I know a little bit about that person. Wow, they seem pretty fun, okay? Um, so you drew a sketch, okay? And remember, a sketch is just to get your ideas out on paper with pencil, it's easy to erase. And now you're ready to do your final copy. Now, just to let you know, if you change your mind um, about how you wanna do your house while you're working, that's okay. It do, your house does not have to look exactly like your sketch, okay? But you're gonna have two choices, okay? You can outline your house with Sharpie, like I did here, or you can outline your house with crayon, like I did here. It is your choice, okay? Well, we are gonna do something called crayon resist, whether you use Sharpie or crayon to outline your house, okay? Um, but first, I'm gonna move the camera down so I can kind of explain the steps for moving on to your final home, okay? All right, so, one thing that some of my students like to do first before they do their final copy is some students like to draw out their home in pencil first. That way there's a less of a chance of them messing up on their final copy and not being able to erase. It is your choice, okay? Now my pencil lines are so light you can probably barely see them on the video here. But here I am, I'm drawing my home, okay? Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind when you draw your door is you're actually going to put a little self-portrait inside of this door when we're all finished. I'm gonna show you how to open your door up and put a piece of paper behind it to, um, to do a self-portrait so you don't draw yourself on the door. Okay, right now you're just creating your house, but I'm gonna show you how to open up the door. So you wanna make your door big enough that you have room to draw yourself inside of the door when we open them up, okay? Now I'm just gonna get kind of my rough sketch out here of what I wanna do. And then, I don't have to draw the whole thing in pencil, but this kind of gives me an idea, okay? And now, again, you have a choice whether you wanna outline your pencil lines with Sharpie or whether you wanna outline your pencil lines with crayon. I'm gonna outline my pencil lines with crayon. Now, if you outline them with Sharpie, you can go back in and erase your pencil lines. If you outline them with crayon, you can't erase them because then you'll smear the crayon. So um, keep that in mind when you do your pencil lines. Make them nice and light and loose, okay? So I'm not gonna draw my whole house right now because that would take forever and I don't want you to sit there and watch me do this forever. But one thing that I am gonna show you before we move on is that you wanna think about like, you know, you wanna think about who you are and how you wanna design your house, but also think about like some of the fun ways that Hunderfasser um, created with lines and shapes and color and things were nature inspired. And remember that he loved spirals. And part of the reason I love Hunterfasser so much is I feel like Hunterbosser and I had a lot of the same views on things. You know, he was an environmentalist, which means you care about plants and animals and Mother Earth. And I consider myself an environmentalist too. Um, Hunterbosser loved color. I love color. And some of you probably have a lot in common with Hunterbosser as well. So, 
You'll continue on, you'll do your crayon, and then you're gonna do what we call a watercolor wash over your piece with watercolor, okay? So um, now I'm gonna fill in my house with watercolor. Now, one thing that's really fun to do with watercolor that I encourage you to try, but you don't have to, is it's really fun to take a white crayon and do crayon resist with a white crayon. Now, unfortunately, I lost my white crayon. Where did I go? Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm going to show you what happens when you add stuff with white crayon and go over it with watercolor. Okay? All right. I'm ready to watercolor. I got my watercolors. I got my brush. I got a good hair day on my brush. Okay? Be a nice and gentle as I get my color, but remember it's called watercolor for a reason. You use lots of water, little paint, okay? Now, crayon resist is when you go over crayon with watercolor and the crayon still shows up. One thing you need to know though is crayon resist will not work if you don't press hard enough with your crayon, okay? So if this doesn't work for you, you probably need to press harder with your crayon, okay? So you can tell right there, that's where I did the white crayon, that's where I did the white crayon, so that, and right here. So I must have pressed hard enough, okay? And now I'm gonna use a different color. Oh, I did white crayon there too. Cool, okay? Um, I'm going to show you to the side. Oh, something neat you can do with white crayon if you ever want to is you can write secret messages to people and they can decode it with watercolor. So for example, I just put a word there. Ooh, see that? It says hi, okay? Now, one thing I want you to consider while you're painting is what colors are you putting next to each other, okay? If you put, um, if you put like a orange next to a green and they mix, you're gonna get a brown, okay? Um, if you put yellow next to red, you're gonna get an orange. If you put green next to blue, you're probably going to get a turquoise, okay? Um, so I would be careful when you're mixing colors and make sure you put colors next to each other that might make a color that you like. And one thing you can do to just check to see if you're gonna like it is just on the side of your paper because you're gonna cut off the side of your paper anyway. One thing you can do is you can actually just put two colors right next to each other and just see if you like the way they mix, okay? Um, and if you like it, then you know to move forward with it, okay? If you don't like it, then maybe you choose a different color, okay? Now, I really like rainbows, and I did a rainbow-themed birthday party for my daughter this summer. So I am actually going to paint my house in rainbow colors. Now, these are my windows, so I'm gonna paint my windows a different color. But I'm gonna go down the line, and you can always remember what order a rainbow goes in by remembering Roy G. Div, okay, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, okay? Whoopsie, I just got the wrong color. I wasn't thinking. Uh-oh, I just went over my window. See, 
see, even teachers make mistakes. Okay, unavoidable. No matter how old you are and how much experience you have, we all make mistakes. Last one. Now you do not have to do a rainbow house. You can paint your house however you want to, okay? Now right here, I rolled my crayon on the side. So let's see how this turns out when I go over it with watercolor. Oh, you can still see the yellow, but not as well as you could, okay? Now I just made a little boo-boo there. So what I'm going to do is, it's an easy fix. You get watercolor where you don't want it. You just take a piece of tissue paper and you dip it into the color and you watch it kind of soak it up. Okay. Ooh, yep. And you got to be gentle when you do it because if you're aggressive, it won't work as well, okay? So I just sopped up that color. Now, if I want to, I can go back in with my yellow and fix it, okay? Now, again, this is called crayon resist. Crayon, the wax that's in the crayon resists the watercolor, okay? And that's how you end up st still being able to see the crayon that's underneath the watercolor. Now, remember, we're eventually gonna cut these houses out, so it doesn't matter what I do around the outside of my house, okay? I'm gonna chop this out, okay? So if you wanna practice some techniques or crayon resist or putting colors next to each other on the outside of your piece, feel free to do that, okay? I'll talk about the next steps in another video. Happy art making!